Phobos Incident This infrared photo allegedly captures the last moments of the Soviet Phobos II probe as it descended toward the Martian moon Phobos. The event has since been termed the Phobos Incident and appears to show an unidentified object between the probe and the moon. The 1989 Phobos II mission intended to deploy two landers, a mobile hopper, and a stationary platform on Phobos' surface. Contact, however, was lost due to the malfunction of an onboard computer, and it supposedly crashed uncontrolled into the moon. Some have speculated that the probe may have actually impacted the object, which has been estimated at 12.5 miles 20 kilometers long. And it's rumored that Kaliningrad Control believed from readings that something struck the craft and sent it spinning out of control. A re-examination of additional earlier photos appear to show a shadow on Mars' surface that matches the shape of the unexplained artifact. The matter was supposedly classified as above top secret until the photo was smuggled out by cosmonaut Alexei Leonov. Cassini Dive On September 15, 2017, NASA's Cassini spacecraft lost contact with the Earth as it hurtled into Saturn, completing the last of 22 grand finale dives between the planet and its rings while measuring the composition of the atmosphere. Among the most mysterious features observed by Cassini was Peggy, an unexplained object that appears as a glitch in Saturn's rings. Scientists aren't entirely sure what Peggy is, and it's rarely found where expected, but they did manage to grab one last glimpse. The suicide plunge into the gas giant was executed to ensure that the orbiter would not contaminate any of Saturn's moons, thought to be among the most likely places in the solar system to harbor alien life, and thought to offer potential habitability. On its way, the probe cleared its image memory, sending back its final snapshots of the moon Enceladus taken before its fiery descent. And just one day earlier, Cassini even captured an infrared image of the cloud tops at the exact spot it would later meet its demise. This last photo was taken and relayed via the Deep Space Network before the intense friction knocked Cassini's antenna out of alignment. It was expected that the spacecraft broke apart 45 seconds after its last transmission due to the heat generated by the fall. Deep Impact In 2005, NASA's Deep Impact spacecraft sent a washing machine-sized impactor hurtling towards the comet Temple-1. Its payload, dubbed the Cratering Mass, was 220 pounds 100 kilograms, of pure copper designed to strike at the comet's nucleus. As the impactor neared its target, it transmitted a series of images that were relayed via the flyby spacecraft back to Earth. The final photo was snapped only 3.7 seconds before impact, occurring at a relative speed of 23,000 miles per hour, 37,000 kilometers per hour. The high-velocity strike delivered the energy equivalent of 4.5 tons of TNT and was photographed from a distance of 310 miles, 500 kilometers. Unfortunately, the comet was far dustier than expected, having the consistency of powder, and views of the crater were obscured. Scientists were hoping to get a glimpse of the core, which may have contained the original ingredients for life on Earth, but disappointed observers suggested that the impact seemed to not penetrate the comet's upper layers and only scratch the surface. Pale Blue Dot In 1990, Supposedly at the request of Carl Sagan, NASA turned the Voyager 1 spacecraft around for one last look at home, capturing the pale blue dot of Earth, appearing smaller than a single pixel, from 3.7 billion miles, 6 billion kilometers away. Voyager 1 took 60 images and managed to see Earth in three, in which it comprised 0.12 pixels of the 640,000 in each frame. The composite photo was among the last taken by the spacecraft in a series that completed a family portrait of the solar system. After the final images were sent back to Earth, Voyager 1's camera was shut down to save power for its journey beyond the heliosphere. It is currently the farthest man-made object from Earth, and is also the most distant object in the solar system with a known location. Broken Heart as NASA's Earth-orbiting Polar Mission satellite prepared to shut down for good in 2008, it snapped this final image. Dubbed the Broken Heart by mission scientists, it is a heart-shaped aurora captured in a visible light photograph. The unexpected scene occurred during the Polar Mission's dying moments after a 12-year run studying the northern and southern lights. And the feat was accomplished by releasing a last gasp breath of leftover helium gas 
when the satellite's thrusters shut down. With the spacecraft out of fuel, NASA turned off the satellite and sent it adrift into a waiting solar storm expected to fry its systems. The dead polar satellite remains in orbit today, but solar radiation is expected to push it away from Earth and crashing into the sun.